Good morning, all. Hello. How are you? This is your boy, Coors, a.k.a. Corey P., a.k.a. Ooh, the sun is giving me... I mean, I love that sun kiss as the sun hits your face ever so slightly, giving you that, like, summer, you know, glow that I do love. Not that sweaty baboon look, but that summer glow. You know, you got that glisten, and you just look sun-kissed. And, you know, you just look kissed by the sun, kissed by the rain, kissed. Honey, I don't know what, girl, I don't know what's going on, honey. I am just, uh, 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 I am just feeling it right now, honey. I am feeling like a motherland realness. Like, I don't, I don't know. Forgive me. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here because I wanted to talk about some things that have, that's been going on to, that um, have happened, some things that I didn't even know was going on, because, girl, a bitch don't have cable, and really, whatever I view on the internet via my Mac, it's by my choice. So, you know, like, I really don't even look at the news and stuff like that, so when shit pops off, you know, for real, like, I, I found out, you know, I just find out either in the nick of time, or I find out way before I'm supposed to. I mean, way after it, it didn't happen, honey. Like, I am late to the party, honey. I arrived at the party. The DJ has wrapped up his equipment. Honey, his set is done. People are like, you know, talk about the after-hour spot. And I'm over here like, yeah, girl, what a party. And everybody like, nigga, we going to Waffle House. The party over. Like, you know, we finna soak up this drunk. So, yeah, anywho. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about some things. Shout out to my girl, Alexandra Howard, a la la. Um, you know, she did a video, on, and it's kind of a response, but not really. It's more just my take. So, it's it's like half response, half not. And, um, but if you want to, you know, she's new to the YouTube game. So, you know, if you want to encourage her, I want to encourage her to keep going and really to keep and develop her, you know, to develop her craft as a YouTube blogger, vlogger. I'm still trying to develop my shit. So, you know, girl, I'm going to put her description, I mean, her um, URL in my description box, you know. And shout out to her. So thank you for the shout out, girl. But next time, you know, give her my information, give her my credentials, honey. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, give give them everything so they can access me that way. You know. But yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that for her. I'm gonna give you guys her page and stuff. And like I said, she's real new to this thing, so it's just bear with her. She's still trying to get it together. <laughs> you know. So, but anyway. What's been going on? Okay, first let's get on to some local shit, girl. For all us Atlanteans, honey. I don't know if y'all heard about what happened at Little Five Points the other day, girl, with the, the, with the release of these LeBron James sneakers. Honey, niggas was in line just, you know, waiting, honey. Just waiting, waiting, wishing and praying, honey, for these $300 ass sneakers. Well, actually, they supposed to be retailed at 180 but they're at that... They were debuting at the Wish store on, on Moreland. If you ever been to Little Five Points, like, when you... The vortex or whatever the fuck that is, and you have that little parking lot and the liquor store, and then you have Junkman's daughter. But across the street, there's like this little random building next to like a Bank of America ATM thingy, and then next, like it's in between the ATM and then there it's in between the Indian restaurant or whatever. But it's this little store called Wish. It's like a little hipster, black hipster, hip hop store situation. You can get a skateboard for overpriced. You can get shoes and clothes for way overpriced. You know, like, I like to go in there and look and see what they have. And then I like to go and find cheaper things. Because, girl, I'm not paying $50 for a t-shirt, $200 for some jeans, $300 for some sneakers, and, you know, $150 for a sweatshirt. Like, girl, I'm just not doing that. Like, not right now. Like, honey, when I make money, when I'm on Jay-Z status, yes, girl, throw it in the bag, swipe the card, and, and, and let me go on my way. But I'm not there yet. So, because I'm not there yet, not going to do it. Okay, girl, I'm I'm Miss Look for Less, honey. Anybody ever seen that show on E! that was hosted by Alyssa, Elizabeth Hasselbeck, who's now on The View? That's my thing, the look for the less. Okay, girl, like, I'm, she taught me well, honey. She taught me well. I watch that show every Saturday morning. Taught me well. So, yes. Anywho. But, yes, girl, the, the, these people were waiting out online. So, this, this random this random thing, honey, was, was robbing people, like, in the line. Like, he would come, stick them up, 
you know, stick him up, give, give me, give me all, you, give me all you got, girl, and then go on about his way. And then I guess when more people would come, he would do the same thing. So you know, by this time, you know, by like the first time, I guess after the first or second time he did this, you know, you know, the people of the staff or whatever, they were just like, you know, okay, y'all, um, just to give y'all a heads up, nigga ran around robbing folks in the line, like he didn't got. To a, to a, you know, he didn't got y'all twice already, like, but y'all new people just be on the lookout, like, this nigga is really trying to stick people up. So, one patron who was waiting to get his, his shoes, his product, honey, he was just like, oh, girl, oh, you know, I have nothing to worry about because I am, I have a gun and I'm licensed to carry, so, nigga, if he comes up, up on me, honey, it's chitty, chitty, bang, bang, and that's just how it's gonna be. So, you know, Okay, you know, so everybody's just like, oh, okay, well, all right then, nigga, all right then, honey, you know, do that. <laughs> so, needless to say, this nigga came right on back, thinking he was gonna get some more, you know, some more of the, some more free shit, thinking he was gonna rob some more people, and lo and behold, he can't, you know, I guess he approached the scene, honey, he approached the line and was like, give me your shit, and this nigga was like, uh, -huh, no, <laughs> and honey pulled out his gun, popped him, and, and that was that, honey, Miss Thing got popped, she ran up the street a couple of inches, collapsed and died right there, police came, you know, they took the report or whatever, I guess they then took his body to the meat wagon, and honey, no, no charges were filed, and it was just kind of like, and, and the nigga that shot him, honey, he just went right back in line, like, waiting for my shit, you know, like, honey, hashtag still in line, nigga. Like, he was just like, well, whatever. So, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> and I think this happened either, this is today, Sunday. I think it happened Friday. I think it happened Friday afternoon. Yeah. I mean, it's sad, but, you know, at the same time, I have no sympathy for the young man that got killed. I mean, not that I condone people, you know, you don't. If you don't have to, I don't. You shouldn't kill anybody. But like the old saying says, honey, you run up, you get done up. You know, you can't roll up on people trying to take shit. You know, these motherfuckers, even though half of them probably gonna get fired when the news find out they was waiting in line after they didn't lie and said they were sick, waiting in line for some fucking shoes. I mean, because these niggas was in line for like three or four days, like waiting on these damn shoes. No, ma'am. No. <laughs> no. Not gonna do it. But they did. You know, they were waiting in line for that shit. Ooh, 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 child, that hit me, honey. You know, what was I saying? Yeah, you you know, even though you know, these people waiting in line and shit, you just can't do that, honey. You can't, you can't roll up on people just taking their shit. I can't stand people to do that. I can't stand people. That's why I can't stand people who like in Atlanta, we have a bad, I mean, a bad panhandling issue. I mean, niggas will come up to you and just tell you all types of stories, honey. I was stranded. I am in a hotel. My family is in, held up in a hotel, and I I got cancer. I got glaucoma. I am on the verge of death, and we just, we are hungry. We haven't eaten in months, and I am out here trying to get some money. Can you give me some money? I mean, like, honey, people will come up with all types of insane stories. I was raped by a baboon, and he took my wallet. You know, like, girl, I mean... So what you're saying is you need some money, okay? <laughs> so what you're saying is you want me to pay for something, like crack or, or your liquor or whatever. Or maybe you are hungry. And I, and you can tell when they're not hungry because, honey, this is what you do. Oh, I'm on my way to McDonald's. Um, or I'm on my way to the corner store. I'll buy you something. I, I, can't, I, don't, I don't give out cash. I'll, if you say you're hungry, honey, that's when they change. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I don't, I don't care. I, I mean, I just about to take the cash. No, nigga, no. You said you were starving. <laughs> Hello, food, free, what do you want, you know, <laughs> oh, but you didn't want that, so that that's how I realized a lot of niggas was not what they was talking about, honey, because that's when I'm just like, you know, I, I don't have it, I mean, I hate to be like that, so people tell me I'm a little cold, I'm not cold, it's just, when it comes to stuff like that, I, I feel like I work, I go to work every day, I put up with shit every day at work, just so I can get a check, just so I can afford to eat, you know, play in my garden, and, you know, buy clothes and shoes and everything else. Like, 
that's why you go to work. And I mean, I'm not, you know, one of these self righteous old, because you know, it's, it, you know, a lot of people have different situations. It's hard for different people. You know, I don't know about situation. All I'm saying is for the ones that are out here, just you know, panhandling, just to be panhandling, not because you really need it, and get your life, girl, and and get some pride, okay, you know, I know they say pride goes before the fall, but honey, no, get some pride about yourself, and instead of running around asking me for shit and asking everybody else for shit, you know, go to, go get a job, girl, get, even if it's a little ugly job, just get one, something, just so you can have some money in your pocket, like, girl, it's, you know, it's crucial out here, honey, ooh, we all still trying to get it together, honey, like, and these iPhone prices, and these gross, you know, food and shit, everything is so expensive now, like, girl, <laughs> I ain't got time to be giving you the money, you know, if this was back in 95, when motherfuckers was balling still, oh, yes, girl, here's $10, get your life, not no more, okay, <laughs> It's 2013, honey. It ain't like that now. Okay, now it's like, ooh, girl, you, ooh, ooh, this twenty dollars gotta stretch me for the week. Mm, I just can't. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, enough about that. Now let's get on this Trayvon Martin's trial. I've been keeping up with it. That's one of the things I have been keeping up with. And I'm just really, I'm so over these these black. Let me talk to black people, honey. I'm over y'all. Okay, I I can't take you. I'm tired of you catch it, fetch it, niggas, always running around hollering how you so ashamed to be black because some black person did something. This young lady ain't even did anything other than show up to court and give her her, her testimony because she's not the most articulate. Now, I'm, I'm granted, I, I, I saw her and she was frustrating me, but I, you know, like I said, it was, she's a product of her environment. To quote my friend, A. La La, she said it best. She's a product of her environment. Oh, she's so ratchet. She's a she's a hood girl from Miami. She's from the hood, like. And then she's Haitian, so English is not really her strongest language. You know, she probably speaks Creole or Patois, whatever they speak over there. I know they say she speaks Creole and Spanish, so English is not really her first language. So you know, maybe, and you know, being a she lives in the hood, and B she's you know, the parent she's the product of immigrant parents who probably don't even, they probably speak broken English, you know, girl, it's, you know, it's like her English articulation might not be that great, but I bet you if they did that shit in Creole, honey, all day, every day, she, she would, if, if they had a Creole translator, she would have, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make fun, but I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty sure she, it would have just been like breathing for her, so, you know, yeah, she wasn't that articulate, but guess what, girl? That hair and that that, that face was done, honey. I, I couldn't take I was living for her with the Chinese bang and the bun in the back. Yes, girl. Miss Rachel. But I'm just tired of y'all niggas. Oh, my God, I'm so ashamed to be black. She is so fat. She is so black. She is so dark-skinned. They ain't got shit to do with anything, honey. She's there because she was on the phone with her friend moments before he was murdered by this fat, bloated, greasy, salami sandwich-looking motherfucker sitting at, at, the, at the motherfucking defense table. That's why she's there. She was the last person that got to talk to him. Okay. She heard a little bit of what happened before. He was dead to the grass, honey. Face down in the grass, dead, with a bullet hole smoke from his back. She was the, not to keep bringing it up, but I'm just saying, like, she was the last person to communicate with this man. And from her communication, this motherfucker was, you know, I understood what she was saying. I mean, it was just frustrating because, I mean, I did want her to project because I'm like, okay, girl, I know you probably used to just talking like this and nobody really ever told you. But, girl, you're going to have to ha. You know, you're going to have to from here, from the gut, honey. You're going to have to breathe from the diaphragm, honey, and give these people vocals, honey, because I can't. That little, you know, smoky Tony Braxton voice that you're trying to give ain't, is not working, honey. You know, these white people are like, I, hello, I can't hear you. You know, they're all up in it. And I think a little bit they were doing too much. Like, I think they were really trying to play up the fact that, you know, like I said, she's not the most articulate. And, you know, she's 
And then people get on her because she thought that the police was supposed to call her because she was like, you know, that's what that's what they do on the first 48. Now, granted, if she had been some cute little southern white lady or something, everybody would have giggled. But because it's her, her black ass, everybody's just like, oh, this is a dumb bitch. No, <laughs> she's not. She's not a lawyer. She's not a judge. She's not you know, a criminal justice major, anything like that. She don't know what's going on, what goes on in the courts, in the legal system. She don't know proper protocol. Like, girl, none of y'all niggas do, really. Why y'all over here like, oh, my gosh, she didn't know that. Nigga, you didn't even know that. Calm that shit, okay? You know, I'm just over, like, these old Uncle Tommy niggas that be doing that shit. Like, every time a black person does something that... And she didn't even do anything embarrassing. Like I said, honey... She didn't get up on the stand and start twerking and popping her ass. She didn't get up there and, and roll a blunt, you know, with her kids running back and forth. You know, so I mean, she was just sitting there answering questions. And, yes, she was a little aggravated. I mean, I totally understand. You know, I'm not making excuses for her because I feel like, honey, you're there. You're speaking for your friend. Girl, speak up. You know, speak up and speak out. That's all I, my only critiques with her. Speak up, speak out. Everything else we can figure out on the. And then the fact that she didn't know how to read cursive. Now, that, is, I mean, that is kind of like, ooh. But, you know, a lot of kids nowadays, they have computers. You know, they, they, they email, they text. They do shit like that. You know, kids in my generation, like, from kids who were born from, like, 19... Kids who were born before 1980, I would say about 1987. You know, we all know how to work right in cursive. We all know how to, you know, read in cursive. You know, my cursive is a little, because I really haven't written in it. But I know how to read it, girl, but I haven't really written in it in such a long time. But I know how to. It's just, it's a little rusty. A lot of rusty, actually. And I do need to get back into her. But yes, um... Yeah, girl, like, everybody was just so embarrassed. And then, who was the, who was that light, bright motherfucker, Lolo Jones? Talk about, ooh, it looks like Medea goes to court. Girl, where are your medals? Okay, focus on that. Get a medal. Okay, stop. Stop, Lolo. Because I'm still, I'm still kind of over you from that time when the two black girls who won a second and third place medal got paid dust over you who didn't even win a medal, but because you was just this light, bright bitch, everybody was just on your shit, and so you thinking you just, you thinking you some kind of something, I, I can't take you, not that it has anything to do with you being light, skin, no, no, you know, no shade to the light skin, shout out to my light skin, red bone, light, bright, damn near white, shout out to y'all, nothing against y'all, there's nothing, I'm not coming for the light skin, I'm just saying like, her just, I don't know, she's, Lolo Jones has been doing the fucking most. <laughs> and people who are hyper her up are doing the fucking most. And I just need everybody to sit down on that. I'm going to need her not to, to comment. And I'm going to need all these other black people to get their life for coming for Miss, you know, Rachel Gentel, who is clearly just a little black girl in her little black world trying to do her thing and, trying, and, and coming to court to do what the fuck she's supposed to do and that's tell her side of the story to help Trayvon yeah so that's that's where I'm at with that um Paula Dean let's just go ahead okay once again I can't speak for every black person I can only speak for this black person um I'm not mad at Paula you know Okay, she said the N-word. It does surprise me. She's a white woman from the South, and she's over the age of 60, I think. How old is Paula? Like, 61, 62. Trust me. If you see a cute, old, genteel, southern white lady now, yeah, she's nice now. <laughs> and she probably was nice then, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, nine times out of ten, especially if they're from the South, they have heard it. They have been around it. They have said it. Probably made some jokes about it. <laughs> you know, nigga is not too far off in their history or their vocabulary. So it would She won't be the first, and she definitely won't be the last. So you know, I don't know. Like, and it really wasn't. I don't even think it's really about Paula. I think Paula was just caught up in the rapture of this of this disgruntled former employee who just who was just trying to get back. 
So she probably was just like, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to spill all the tea. And, you know, you know, she probably did, and that's what she did. That's what, that, that's exactly what she did, actually. She spilled the tea, and it's just like... <laughs> no, nigga, I did Hold on, y'all, sorry. Okay. Here's the cater, buddy. Hold on real quick. Okay. Okay. But, you know, honey. Sorry. I was looking at some things. Men after 10. Mm. Um, shout out to Judy's. <laughs> shout out to my friend Casey, a.k.a. Har Harper from Judy's. Um, men after 10. Yes. Um, anyway, even though it's before 10 a.m., but when I sent all these messages, I was, honey, girl, horny as hell last night. Not that anybody needs to know that, but I was trying to, you know, I was trying to get, get a little up jumps the boogie to the boogie of the boogie beat up in this bitch, but niggas wasn't answer. but now everybody's like, oh, I'm sorry, oh, I'm awake, but if you want to do that, though, I got you. No. <laughs> I actually, I, I, honey, I've, I'm like, you should call, I've changed my mind. Um, but anyway, back to where we're going with this. Paula Dean, you know, I just feel bad for Miss Paula. I really just want her to just lay low. <laughs> you know, just, girl, listen, you, you already know what you, you got to do, honey. This is what you got to do. In case you didn't know, you are a white woman in America. You'll be fine. Trust me and believe it. But now what you need to do, you know, first, A, stop apologizing. We're done with the apologies. You know, you need to just kind of go lay low, hang out with your, your, your peoples. Um, you maybe need to go on a little campaign where you kiss black babies and you do some charities for black causes, you know, speak at some black places, do, do like a, a documentary or a special in which you and your family go do something that involves cultural sensitivity or go hang out with a black family for a month or a week or however long you got to do this, you know, something like that. You got to do something like that. Then maybe write a book or something. Write a memoir, and then just in a, in, a, in about a year or two, this will blow over, and you can just kind of slowly but surely, you know, hopefully you saved up some money, honey. But like I said, slowly but surely, you 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 you'll be able to get back there. But until then, honey, just lay low. Stop apologizing for shit, <laughs> honey. I understand, and it was it happened in 1985, and you know people are just like. I know people, I think, mad because of the fact she was just like, yeah, yeah, I said it. She did. At least, I mean, I can respect somebody who's being honest. I can't stand the old Carrie Hilson, hide the rock, you know, throw the rock and hide your hand, bitch. Like, you say it, but then when people confront you about it, you be like, oh, I, I, I don't know that. I was taken out of context. I don't know what you're talking about when clearly everybody knows that you said it. You know, I can't stand girls like that. If you said it, you said it. Okay? If you said it, you said it, girl. But I just feel like everybody... Not everybody. I just feel like some people are just really taking it to the next level. Like, you know, oh my God, it's she just, you know, they're trying to just crucify her, and it's like, Paula Dean ain't in nothing to nobody but cook some high fat ass foods, and even then she had to like restructure that because you know she when she found out she got the sugars real bad, you know, we had to kind of, you know, she kind of had to modify some shit <coughs> on, on her recipes, but still, she ain't did nothing but but cook cook some shit that it made all of us a little fat. <laughs> okay. Like, I just think everybody needs to give Paula a, a break. And like I said, I can't speak for every black person ever in the world, in America. I can't speak, but I can speak for this one. Paula, girl, if you ever so happen to come across this, <laughs> I forgive you. I wasn't even mad at you at the first place. Even though when I heard about that, that plantation-style wedding, I was like, you know, but at the same time, girl, you know what? I forgive you. You know, you didn't offend me for real. You know, 
it's, it's really not much I can expound on how much I just, I'm not mad, <laughs> you know, girl, like, we ain't friends, you ain't my close coffee aunt, so it really don't matter to me, if you run around saying nigga in your house, that's your house, that's your mansion, girl, holler out nigga as many times as you want, if you want to just run through the hallways, nigga, 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 that ain't got nothing to do with me, just make sure that nobody film you. <laughs> I guess this is a lesson for you, you know, honey. If you do have to, you know, spew those type of jokes around, just make sure you are doing it in the ultimate comfort of your home where, you know, it's just family and people you know ain't going to sit up and film you or record you or report you saying that you said some real racist shit. It's not it's the cut of my eyebrow still. Can you see her? You can kind of see her when the light is. Anyway, but yes, girl, this is just a lesson. And to the young lady who is suing Paula and her brother, you know, honey, if you scrum to it and you're just trying to get your coin, get your coin. But don't throw, don't, 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 don't be petty and don't mudsling and don't do that. Like, don't bring people down because you feel fucked over. I mean, if Bubba, I think that's her brother's name, if Bubba was sexually harassing you, and you know all that then that's your issue with Bubba and if Miss Paula you know didn't do anything about it or maybe she didn't believe you you know girl that's why you sue you just sue her but just to be like I'm gonna take down your whole empire I don't know I just feel like that was a bit much but anywho that, that's my take on shit um like comment subscribe um follow me on twitter at Cores 1985, that's C O R S 1985. Um, follow my band Red Light Go at R L G Hunty, R L G H U N T Y. You can also follow us on SoundCloud. On SoundCloud, I am Rebel Red, that's R E B L R E D D. Um, my bandmate Jeremiah is from T J W I T L U V, so. F R M T J W I T L U V from T J with love. We also have a red light go sound cloud that's R E D D L I T E G O H. Honey, it's just a lot. But follow one of those three. <laughs> follow us on Tumblr. Um, I'm on Tumblr as well as Course C O R S, and it is red light go R E D D L I T E G O H. I'll put most of this in the description box below. And yeah, hopefully everybody's having a fun day Sunday. Um, a Sunday that's going to be a fun day. And um, I'm out 3,000 or 5,000. I don't know. I'm out. And once again, shout out to my girl, A La La. Her URL to her stuff is going to be in the, in the description box as well. And girl... Yes, for the, for the lips. Spoo. Ooh. <laughs> Honey. Mm. Yes. Anyway. Bye, y'all.